dear friends now we study the globe of earth where we see the maps in this map we observe the different continents namely south america north america europe africa asia australia and antarctica we also observe the sea surrounding these continents the portion of sea is much more than the land in south hemisphere the proportion of water is much more than the land mother earth consists of 71% of water and 29% of land therefore when we study the earth it is observed that the water content is much more than the land we have already studied the landforms such as mountains plateaus plains and hills have you ever thought of such forms under the water if one starts walking in sea will he be able to walk straight where would you land up if you start from ratnagiri and walk towards west it is necessary to study the high ups and the gradients in the ocean also one must study the internal structures in the ocean this study is known as oceanography in this study there is detailed description of the structures at the floor of the ocean which are hidden at the base we classify the landforms as unequal mountains plateaus plains and hills similarly there are unequal regions under the water and they can also be classified the classification on the land is done by considering the heights of the landforms whereas the different structures under the water are classified by their depths these are known as the structures at the ocean floor the description is based on the depth of the structures found at the floor of the ocean there are plains in large numbers and also the depressions these changes in the landforms are evident as one enters the sea from the sea level we find many seas oceans and bays as different forms of water every ocean is different from other faults or large cracks on the surface of the ocean floor ice age the energy required for erosion speed and type of alluvial deposits affect the sea forms there is a definite order which is observed on the floor of ocean 1 continental shelf this part of the ocean is widely known and easily accessible the piece of land near shore which is submerged in sea waters is called as continental shelf the gradient is mild the depth is around 200 meters from the sea level this sea landform occupies 27 million kilometers of land which is 8.6% of the sea surface some oceans show the extension up to 48 kilometers at some places it is narrow whereas at some places the breadth is hundreds of kilometers in south america the platform in pacific ocean is as narrow as 16 kilometers on the other hand in north america the eastern part of atlantic ocean has the width of 96 to 120 kilometers friends have you ever thought about the formation of this landform as described earlier this is the piece of land which is submerged in sea is it due to the increased level of sea base or elevation of the land in sea it is observed that due to the downward movements of land the land shows subsidence which is covered by the sea water here by forming the platform under the ocean water india is surrounded by sea from east west and south direction the continental shelf on the shore are formed by different methods ganga godavari krishna and kaveri end in bay of bengal on eastern coast the shelves are formed by triangle region continental shelf from midnapur to madurai is formed by deposits and andaman nicobar lakshadweep and gulf of mannar are formed by coral rocks the platforms on western coast are formed by subsidence and faults these shelves are important from economic point of view when the shelves are shallow the sun rays reach the deep part of sea where the plants and microorganisms thrive the plankton is the food for fishes these are the areas important from the point of fishes for example grand bank near newfoundland the areas are important as they are rich in mineral oil 
natural gas and different minerals. 2. Continental slope. It is the slope found as the continental shelf ends and heads towards the floor of the ocean. The slope ranges from 5 degrees to 60 degrees. At St. Helena, it is 40 degrees, whereas it is 5 to 15 degrees near Calicut in India. The slope occupies only 8.5% of the ocean floor. This percentage varies from ocean to ocean. While studying, it is observed that the width of continental shelf is high in 20 to 50 degrees and 70 to 80 degrees in north latitudes. In India, the area covered by continental slope is the minimum up to 5 to 6 percent. Dear friends, do you know how the slopes are formed? The formation is related to erosion and process of deposition. Summary The classification of landform underwater, the structures at the ocean floor, the factors affecting floor of the ocean, the land near shore which is submerged in sea water is called continental shelf. The formation of continental shelf, the economic importance of continental shelf, continental slope. Exercise Classify the ocean floor according to the area. Describe the ocean floor near eastern and western coast of India. Procure the information regarding the slopes of eastern and western coastal region. Mm -hmm.